independent ladies in the building not to disrespect you go with Ghanaian man baby girl for life and see chop life soft life you want to be pampered you will be lolo go with nigerian men god if you're new to my youtube channel you're welcome my name is lilian and today i want to react to this video by hida basi a nigerian chef he actually going she going to the jollof rice war and it didn't go well but that is our opinion i was surprised people are attacking her this lady gave her opinion they asked her a question which one do you like and she chose the one she likes but i was surprised that people came at her so in this one i am here to talk about her other part of the interview that same interview but this second part she talked about nigerian men versus ghana men so and that is the part that i am interested in because yeah i like men a lot thank you very much <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome baby thank you <laughs> and you know anywhere i hear ghana man i'd like to go there because i want to explain i want to break it down i want to make it very clear why i will always even when they are waking me up from sleep as someone that have done both countries feel free to like this video don't forget to share it and of course if you are not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscription button for more videos like this the fun part is today i'm not here to talk about who should do good who shouldn't let us just be doing anyhow i go further into giving my opinion i would like you guys to listen to this clip by Hida and we will be back with my opinionated opinion on why I like Charlie more than Oga. Hmm? I like Bosu more than Oga. <laughs> Father, give it to Nigerian men. <laughs> ask, ask, ask 20 Ghanaian women if, yeah. they, would, if they would mind. Where's your wife from? From Ghana. She's from Ghana. Uh, but no, exactly. that's an anomaly. You're making my point for me. So you heard it from the horse's mouth. Sahida could actually have said she likes Nigerian men. Um, but the part that draws my attention is where she didn't stop by just choosing the men of her choice for that to make this statement and that is why we are reacting you say what yeah we met, it's we because that's what is in their forefront exactly it's, so in, it's what's in there before exactly it's a proximity marriage when we send some nigerian men to ghana yes what are we talking about nigerian Your men, men will not be saying white wife. Women. so that is the part where Ida said that if all the men in nigeria move to ghana ghanaian men will not find a wife because all the women be following the nigerian men i know that she was joking about it but inside that joke um, there are things that i personally want to talk about i want to talk about the woman that is made for both either of these countries you see these two countries they are similar in many ways culture and the food and of course we are just there i don't know how god created ghana and Cha. we love and we love to hate each other and we find strength and joy in all the nyama nyama that we do but you see when it comes to men of these two countries hmm? see you have to understand the type of woman you are for you to be able to pick which of these two countries you rather stick with i mean you rather have a partner from for me i already understand myself i cut across that independent woman a lot of the times we misunderstand that independence woman once you say you are independent a lot of people just go straight to the cash aspect of it the monetary aspect is beyond that being an independent woman is not all about having your own monies there are a lot of women with their own cash that are not independent do you understand for me i'm an independent woman I what that means is i like to make my own decisions i can hold it down without a man uh my happiness does not strictly depend on i mean i don't really i don't know if this has to do with the fact that i have tested that thing called marriage before and since the last time i had it i felt like this is the biggest scam okay you might find it good for you but for me it wasn't that fun and before i got into it it wasn't something i wanted to do it was something i did under pressure so independent woman is that woman that can hold it down on her own maybe you have money or not but you can stand and make your decision and say this particular something is where i stand you don't necessarily need 
to be with a man for you to feel good about yourself you don't necessarily need to be with a man for you to be able to make your decisions as an independent woman you are not afraid to give your opinion you're not afraid to go broke you're not afraid of hunger you're not afraid that is an independent woman the monetary aspect is a bonus and that is why majority of the independent women end up making their own monies because with an attitude like that you need to be making your own money so now if you're an independent minded person you will not want to be with a nigerian man nigerian men are not as glamorous as our kenyan sisters and south african sisters and all the other african countries okay ghanaian women have made it seem dating or marrying a nigerian man is not as glamorous as as all these our sisters have made it seem on the internet oh nigerian man oh nigerian man i love nigerian man. i can see i see this debate all the time it's not as glamorous as they make it sound do you understand see there are women that wants to be pampered the women that want a man to to, def to be able to define who they are there are women that wants to be with a man for them to be able to feel good there are women that just want to be protected they want to be kept like a piece of something precious maybe a jewelries or a plot of land or a, or a house or a car they want someone to own them these are the women that you see always they can they can they can kill to be with a nigerian man because that is exactly what you will get Oga is going to keep you because now you are his property he will do anything to keep you and all you need to do is follow the rules if Oga says sit down here today don't talk to anybody even if they talk to you no answer them just obey Oga gets you and then when Oga cheats on you he expects you to just take it just take it is a normal thing after all he is a man and you are his property yes of course what do you expect when somebody is in charge of for instance i'm the owner of an estate and then i decide to give one of the houses or some part of the estates out who is the other who is the estate itself to tell me what to do and who not to do you understand these are the ladies that runs after nigerian men yes Please feel free to batch down there at the comment section. I will see you guys when you will. <laughs> so these are the ladies that want a Nigerian man. My recent trip to Nigeria on my way coming back from Nigeria, the bus that I joined, yes, <laughs> some at the comment section will say, ah, you were in that bus. <laughs> you are broke yes i'm very broke and i love it thank you very much it's this liberian lady that was in the vehicle with me and we have other ladies as well both nigerians and Ghanaians, that were all coming to accra from lagos and then we got into this conversation you know this social media this 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 it ends on the internet where we meet in real life we hardly care where people are from we're just interacting and um the liberian lady say oh oh me i prefer nigeria men i love i like nigeria men go i like nigeria men oh and this is a well to do lady she's financially okay she, she owned businesses here in accra and she's married she said if she wasn't married to who she's married to he would have been a nigerian man she liked nigerian men so much everything she said she liked them and i said what kind of woman are you and she said i like to be pampered i like to be controlled then i said okay that's it for me i don't like to be controlled not like see i don't know if you get it. this control something if my husband says this thing i don't like it please don't do it is a different thing from my husband mapping my life for me do you get it so a man that will map my life for me is not for me because i believe that i have my own life to live i have my own ideas to bring as a woman i have my own i just have my own choices as a woman i just want someone that will blend together so so the people that are, that want a taste of nigerian men at all costs are ladies who are not independent I have stated it clear earlier that I'm not talking about financial independency. I'm talking about an independent-minded woman. So if you are a baby girl for life, you want to just be a wife. You're not interested in being a partner to your husband. You want to be his property. Please make sure you find a Nigerian man and stick with one. And thank me later. 
now let's talk about my favorite men in africa of course no one is perfect of because of course we know that no one is perfect but if i rather choose between these two i will go for a Ghanaian man because i'm more of a partner than a wife like i don't want this whole wife idea you come in uh, today you, you tell me you lock me in the house don't move don't breathe if my husband tells me to breathe that's when i breathe that's reason number one i like Ghanaian men because it will give me the opportunity the chance to be me go out there and be me to understand in the right way i don't say go out there and sleep with other men go out there and be me make my own decisions sit down with me and have a conversation with me he sees me beyond just being a woman if your heart is very open about this video you will know what i'm talking about because majority of the men from my country would rather have a conversation with their adult great grandparents than have it with their wives. In Ghana, men will have a conversation with any human being. Like, it doesn't matter your gender. I just want to have that conversation. That is that category that I am. So I'd rather go for Ghanaian men. Reason number two I will pick Ghanaian man over a Nigerian man is C of the 90 percent of men that are raised by Ghanaian women they will hardly disrespect your your gender they will hardly look down on you because you're a woman you know they are in Nigeria yeah men will look down on you <laughs> ah this comment section go bad though oh bad gone and I ready for them. the idea of your gender to a Nigerian man is not the same as that of the Ghanaian man first a Ghanaian man sees you as a human being then secondly as his wife to understand as his woman his wife girlfriend whatever name them mm, he sees you like that but a Nigerian man sees you as a woman and that means because if you are if you want to be honest with yourself you know that being a woman in Nigeria is not something that you should be proud of it's a struggle you understand so i would rather do that do a man raised by a Ghanaian woman because she has imbibed a lot of morals in him she has imbibed a lot of respect in him towards women rather than do the nigerian woman son because she teaches her son majority of them <laughs> majority of them teaches their sons to exercise their man power on their women so you see uh -huh. the third reason i would do Ghanaian men is the fact that see the worst that a man uh, see the worst a Ghanaian man would do to you is to abandon you with the kids and the fun part is if we can't live in ghana you won't don't spoil because the laws here works uh, yeah, the laws here protects the woman so bad so if today you are watching this video and you are contemplating Ghanaian man or Nigerian man or ga madam go after Ghanaian man okay but expect that the possibility of him maybe leaving you is there a Nigerian man if as long as you are willing to stay and be emotionally traumatized and abused is willing to keep you do you understand the difference but a Ghanaian man would rather walk away and leave you with your independence than to crush you to because he wouldn't want to <laughs> Nigerian man will as you are willing to stay and be cheated upon he's willing to keep you but a Ghanaian man the thing I can't assure you about Ghanaian man is he may walk away he may leave you uh -huh. but if he leaves you uncle what is there that's why you should make sure he marries you and even if he didn't marry you a Ghanaian man <laughs> you have dated for some time if he leaves you if he break up with you if he break up with you he pays you for it hold him accountable for settlements in case you are not aware of this thing in Ghana this culture of settling long time girlfriends they, are ex they exist if you are dating a Ghanaian man wherever you are <laughs> he breaks up with you just hold him tell him to say to you okay please don't ask him for too much money okay be nice all right just ask him to say to you with some money he will do it peacefully and even apologize and give it to you to go so he doesn't want problem so and here if he marries you and abandon you with the kids just go to the go to any police station and report if he abandons you with the kids okay if you're an independent woman avoid nigerian men because see avoid nigerian men if you are the type that don't want to be cheated upon if you are the type that wants to be a partner you don't want to be a wife you want to be a partner 
partners are the happiest if you want to be a partner you want to someone to grow up with you want someone to build a life with hmm, if you are doing nigerian men please do carefully like investigate very well because majority of them <laughs> majority of them are prefer to keep you as a piece of property and cheat on you if they want and if that marriage is no longer if you try to be an independent woman at some point you just say you don't want the marriage again you want to divorce because he has been cheating on you my dear don't bother to go to the police to report him for some of them will still try to keep up with the kids okay but in case he does not keep up with the kids in case he does not want to keep up with supporting you financially just leave it don't go to the police in nigeria to say you want to go and report your ex-husband your baby daddy you see trauma will catch you to get it so the if you are dating a nigerian man he, he pampers you showers money on you be saving your money <laughs> be saving your money because you will need it you will need it later or always choose Ghana men and my problem with Ghana men is simple the only issue I have with Ghanaian men is inconsistency and that one doesn't hurt it leaves me a move on it leaves me and refuse to be financially responsible for our kids I get the police involved and I get my justice see Ghanaian men are still the best a man that sees you as human being first before he sees you as a woman go for him the one that sees you as a woman first before he sees you as a property you wait now so they are not made for the same category of women independent women i have stated before some of you will come here and say how much you get you will not get money i'm not talking about financial independency that is a bonus and majority of us independent women will end up being rich in our lifetimes because we like to try our best to make money so that these monies can help us to achieve our dreams without having to go sit down and wait for someone to come and decide what we are going to wear what we are going to eat where we are going to go how we should breathe to get it it so you choose where you belong you don't just carry yourself if you're a baby girl you want to be pampered you want a man to marry you and keep you like a piece of like a piece of property please avoid Ghanaian men avoid Ghanaian men because you will be so disappointed when Oga <laughs> when it's not going to always be like that because he wants a partner he sees you as a woman he sees you as a human being and as a human being you have got to be to have a life of your own from time to time they give you that financial support quite all right i was married to a nigerian man and when he left up to date i've not even fear not even let me go to the police to say oh god i mean to report into the police to say okay my ex-husband left me with a baby -o, and he does not care about the baby -o. because if i go there i'm going to be traumatized independent ladies in the building not to disrespect you go with Ghanaian man baby girl for life and see chop life soft life you want to be pampered you want to be a wife you want to be lolo please go with nigerian men okay nigerian men are going to be there for you in that aspect but if you are the type that want to travel the world you want to make your own decisions from time to time you tell him honey drop me off oh have a meeting drop me off at the airport do Ghana man thank you <laughs> i'll see you in my next video